This is the Pocket Monster Manual. I'm Willie Chandler here with Ironclad Luke. Hey! Shiny. Hey! And Specs. Hi! <laughs> and. <laughs> well, now I feel. Now I feel bad. And this is Caterpie. He's What's... based on something in real life, but I can't tell what. Based on it's the. A uh, caterpillar. The oh, Asian. Okay, no. <laughs> there we go. The Asian swallowtail. And the <laughs> horn, like the little horn that it has, it apparently smells really bad of the Only one that it has in real life. It. No, no, no. Uh, the, I'm talking about the Asian swallowtail. That one smells uh, all the time. Oh, so that's why it's inspired. Yes. Because uh, all of, like half the Pokedex entries are like, if you touch its feeler, it will release a stank. Yep. <laughs> so is, that's nice. Is the horn on its head like a feeler, or is it a horn? Or... It's a feeler. It is an osmaterium. Explain to me what that word means, Lou. Well, it... Uh, comes from the root word in Latin, Osmosis Jones, <laughs> which is the inspiration for Pokemon. I see. Sounds legit. It's a, a feeler slash antenna. Caterpie's eyes are not eyes. Yes, they are. No, they're mm-hmm. not. The stadium entry says it has large eye-like patterns on its head as Incorrect. protection. Incorrect. They are used said, to frighten off enemies. No, it says this structure and the large eye-shaped markings. Hold on. But somewhere it says that it has... Okay. There are yellow ring-shaped markings down the sides of its body which resemble its large yellow eyes. Ah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Go down to the uh, crystal sprite. It blinks. So Does, I looked for the I looked for a blinking sprite and I couldn't find one. Crystal. Okay, so the ones on its head are actual oh, shit, eyes, boy. and then the other ones just resemble eyes, so it looks really freaky. So something else I want to mention about uh, good old Caterpie, our, our bestie friend, is short feet are tipped with suction pads that enable it to tirelessly climb slopes and walls. So my immediate thought when reading that is that it's basically a land tentacle. Or like a leech or a slug or something. They've got like sucky no, bits. They just, got, they? Like, they just got one though. This one's got it's got suction pads all the way up. I kind of like it more now. I didn't like it that much before because it was just like a just fucking caterpillar. But now it's like, well, you know, now it has suction Now it's cups. a stinky now, caterpillar that's also a tentacle. And, well, the stinky was part of, was, was real as well, but the suction comes, that's an innovation. Mm-hmm. Another <laughs> another thing that I like about it is the uh, ruby and sapphire. It has a voracious appetite. I just really like the word I, voracious. I like that its voracious appetite is that it can devour leaves bigger than its body right before your eyes. Like that's really impressive. Like, <laughs> whoa, look, it's eating yeah. that leaf, I and mean, that leaf's like forty centimeters long. I mean, when you consider like how big a caterpie is, the fact that you've even managed to find a leaf larger than that. Yeah, but it's if, pretty impressive. If you folded yeah. up the leaf, it'd be tiny anyway, wouldn't it? It's like if but, I ate a pizza that was as long as me. Actually, that's not <laughs> that much food because well, it's like I could roll it up real well, small. Okay, your analogy's it's falling too- apart, but that's still that's that's still a lot of pizza. That's man. a lot of fucking pizza, but it's not a lot for a caterpillar to just eat a big fucking leaf. Yeah, I mean, remember the story of the very hungry caterpillar. He ate yeah. bare amounts. I think something really interesting about this, actually, in Diamond Pearl Platinum, um, it grows by molting, like shedding its skin, like a lizard. Like it says, it molts repeatedly. Mm. So that's not true. It turns the It look. It says it grows by molting repeatedly. Like, there you can are see insects, it right there. insects that do that because my sister had a ghost mantis and it shed multiple times throughout its life and got bigger. So that is a thing that insects. I didn't do. know that caterpillars did that though, because obviously they've got like a like a pupil stage as well. Uh, yeah, I, d- I don't know if caterpillars do it, but I know some well, bugs do. Caterpie does. So there we go. Does the entry say anything about the little rattler looking thing on its tail? No. I don't think so. It's just oh, that's, the tail. That's what's going to turn into a stinger as Beedrill. Oh, no, it's it not because into that's Butterfree. Oh. Oh, shit, I'm uh, stupid. <laughs> how fucking embarrassing. Can I just read one more entry that I only just saw that I really Ultra like? Room. Yeah, its body is soft and weak. In nature, its perpetual fate is to be seen by others as food. Oh, that's <laughs> so sad. It's soft and weak. Soft and weak. <laughs> uh, you know. But it's going to get boy. hard. It's going to get hard. It may be soft and weak now, but come Someday next soon. podcast. Meta podcast. <laughs> <laughs>